Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import a theme into Power BI and also change the defaults of that particular theme, right? Now, this is a, a, a very crucial step or an important step because this is this theme is going to define how your dashboard is going to look like, right? So let us get started. So right now I'm uh, on, I will go to the view tab and then click on this particular drop down under theme section. And then I'm going to go to themes gallery. So, yeah. so once this opens, there are loads of themes that are available over here. You can download one of them. Uh, I quite like this particular theme over here. It's called actress uh, planning. Okay. I'm going to download this theme over here. I have it downloaded already. So I'm not going to download this again. So let's go to Power BI and install this theme. So I'm going to go to the view tab and the themes again. Now browse for themes. And this is the theme that I have downloaded. I'm going to install this. Okay. So my theme is now successfully imported into Power BI. And as you can see, it has been applied on the page background as well. Right. And you can see here that you, this is my current theme. Okay. So now let us say if I add a, a chart, for example, by item type and by total sales amount. All right. Now, this is giving me a very tiny little uh, headers over here. The X axis is looks very tiny. And also, I don't like the default color of this particular gray here in this particular theme. Now, every time I cannot really go to the format tab, go to data colors and change it to something like this and add data labels, which are very small as well, right? My X axis also looks very small. So I need to increase the size here. So uh, my Y axis is also small. So I need to increase size here as well, right? So I can't keep doing this every time. Now, how you can fix this by changing the defaults in the theme, right? Now you can go to the drop down over here under themes and then click on customize current theme. Okay. When you come in over here, you have your theme colors, right? Your color one is set to gray. Now let us change this particular color to this one over here. So I'm going to copy this color code and then come here and paste this. Okay. And come here. Okay. I need, I need this here to be my second code. Okay. I'm going to come here, replace the code over here. Okay. I can leave, leave this one over here. My negative seems good. My positive is good. And my neutral is also good, right? You can probably change some uh, other colors as well. Maybe blue will look nice on this. And then uh, maybe uh, something of this color is going to look nice. And then maybe, um, Purplish maybe will look good, right? So we've changed the default colors right now. Okay. Max, middle, min. Okay. That, that is fine. Okay. Let's go to the advanced tab and uh, change the colors. Choose different elements in your visuals like grid axis. Okay. For now, let's leave this now. Okay. General. My font size, uh, I need this to be at least 12. And I, I want the font size to be pure white. Okay. I'm going to select that. My title uh, is this. Uh, I want the title to be about 15. Font color needs to be white. My card and KPIs font color always white. Tab headers, right? Uh, tab headers maybe about 12. Font color is white. Okay. Let's go to the visuals. Background is always the same color. I don't need border. Uh, header background color let us change that to I like I quite like the header color this one I'm going to change that over here I'm going to copy the background color and paste it over here okay border color is white icon color will change this to pure white okay tool tip table text I will leave that my page wallpaper is fine my background is fine filter paint background color I will leave it at that font and icon color rest everything looks fine okay let us apply this okay now let us create a, another chart over here and uh, add the same thing let's add the total things and sales amount so as you can see here uh, we have the uh, the size is actually quite bigger now considering what it was earlier right but however it still looks very small so let's go back to the customized current theme and uh, change the font size of this. 
title 15 tab headers uh, to 15 visuals page filter pane okay let's keep on apply so now we've had this right uh, uh, why is the title not changing let's go and check that uh, text title font size is 15 let us change that to maybe about 25 font family is then okay okay i think this is the title that is getting changed and not this title right okay fine let us just uh, uh reward that back to 15 which was good right okay so this is what we've created now on the uh the title over here i would like to change the background color and make this background okay and then also increase the text size to about 15 and i want white color font okay and then let us add uh, data labels to this and uh, let's add data labels i think the data labels uh, are looking fine for now okay so there's a huge difference between this chart and this chart right and this is looking a lot more clean and neat and also going with the uh, with the current theme of colors it look it's looking very nice so so when you start creating the entire chart it's going entire uh, dashboard it's really going to look good right so here if we remove this it's going to look very clean and uh, nice right yeah so uh, so yeah i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials